Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 13 and 14. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 14th, 1973, in London, England. Translation. After that, the conch shells, bugles, trumpets, drums and horns were all of a sudden sounded, and the combined sound was tumultuous. So, there are mention of various types of musical instruments. <coughs> and those instruments are no longer in use. Uh, but different types of bugles, drums, kettle drums, as they use in modern days. So the same principle by musical instruments, the soldiers are kept alive. So they can fight nicely. <coughs> Uh, when simultaneously all the instruments were sounded, it became tumultuous. Um, Next verse. Translation. On the other side, both Lord Krishna and Arjuna, stationed on a great chariot drawn by white horses, sounded their transcendental conch shells. So you have seen the picture, Krishna is driving four white horses. <coughs> In contrast with the consent blown by Bhishma Deva, the consents in the hands of Krishna and Arjuna are described as transcendent. <coughs> Krishna uh, is transcendent. Nāyāna parā abhaktyā. Krishna is not of this material world. Uh, Krishna's body, Krishna's activities, everything of Krishna, they are transcendental. They are not of this material world. Dibhāma. The Chatushlaki Bhagavatam, it is said, uh, when Krishna was instructing Brahma, Ahameva Asam Agre, before this material creation, I was a Krishna. The Vedas also, it is said, Eko Narayana Asi, before creation, only Narayan was there. So, Krishna's position is always transcendent. It is not any creation of this material world. But because <coughs> he comes just like a human being and acts also just like human being, those who are less intelligent, avajananti, they think of Krishna as ordinary human being. Avajananti mana murha. <coughs> murha, murha means ashes, uh, or less intelligent class. <coughs> they cannot understand Krishna's position. Krishna's position is all instruction. When Arjuna inquired from him about his instruction to Sangha, Krishna said, Ivam vivasati yugam praktavan aham abhayam. This bhakti yoga of as mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is bhakti yoga. To understand 
the supreme personality of God. So this literature is also transcendent. <coughs> Bhakti is also transcendent. Bhakti is not any activities of this material world. Dharma karma may be bum. So bhakti is activity in relationship with Krishna. Therefore, it is not material. Sabhuran samatitai tan brahma bhuyaya kalpati. Manchabhyavishadini bhakti yogi na jati. Bhakti yoga <coughs> is transcendental. And because Krishna is transcendental, you cannot understand Krishna by any material method. Therefore Krishna says, bhaktyana bhaktyana. The method also is transcendental. Not at this material. So, if we can understand simply these facts that Krishna is transcendental, Krishna's name is transcendental, Krishna's form is transcendental, Satchidananda Vigraha, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha. Krishna's body is Satchit Ananda. Not body like this. This body is Asat, Achit, and Nirananda. Just the opposite. <coughs> this material body is Asat. Asat means temporary. It will not exist. But Krishna's body is not like that. Krishna's body is itāna, that is chit, soft chit, full of knowledge. So, less intelligent class of men, they cannot understand Krishna. Therefore, Shastra says, Oh, of Sri Krishna Nama Vi Nama Ve Grayam Indriya. This Indriya, this material senses, cannot speculate to understand the Supreme Personality of Mahali. That is not possible. Samayeva Hikeva. That is simply laboring, uh, wasting time. Krishna should be understood as Krishna says. He can explain himself, nobody can explain. Because our senses are imperfect. We are deficient by four kinds of faults. We commit mistake, we are illusioned. With imperfect senses we try to speak transcendental knowledge, therefore cheating uh, with imperfect. They will say, probably, maybe, this is this so-called scientist language. That means imperfect knowledge is still they want to teach. This is cheating. Uh, knowledge must be perfect. Then you can teach others. So our process is to receive the perfect knowledge from the perfect source and receive it. We don't manufacture knowledge. Therefore we are presenting Bhagavad-gītā as it is. As it is. The Bhagavad-gītā is already perfect. Why shall I interpret in my, with my imperfect senses? This is cheating. And people want to be cheated. Banchita banchak sampada. The whole world is full of cheaters and cheated. Because they want to be cheated. There are so many cheaters. They don't want 
रियल थिंग हेयर इज द रियल थिंग भगवत गीता the supreme personality of god is speaking personally about himself why should we interpret huh? hey, does it mean that the supreme personality of god is uh, the supreme authority left something unexplained to be interpreted later on by some rascals no but the rascals there they interpret that is cheating that is another part <coughs> there are 640 45 editions of bhagavad gita simply cheating amongst them there are big big scholars not scholars or rascals but the cheat they pose themselves as scholars and people want to be cheated so they take their words so they cannot understand krishna cheated they take the shelter of the cheaters therefore they are cheated so uh, the maya is very strong maya always dictates so that we may be cheated Why you are taking Krishna as the supreme personality of God? Don't take. He is ordinary man. He can he can be also equal with Krishna. You also become God. You become also incarnation. This is going on, and people flock there because they want to be cheated. What Krishna says, they will not accept. Krishna says, "Sarva dharma an paritta dharma ami kam sarva." Only take to Krishna consciousness. Sarva dharma, because any dharma which is not approved by the supreme law, Krishna, there is not dharma. Dharma to sahasa bhagavat prani kam. A human being or a demigod or a very exalted person cannot manufacture dharma. That is not possible. Real dharma is uh, given by the supreme personality of God, Krishna, and that real dharma is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Dharma Anpuritajya Mamekam Sarvam Vaya. The Sarvam. This is real dharma. Surrender to Krishna and follow His instruction. Your life will be perfect because you follow the perfect instruction. Therefore, you are also perfect. Simple process. <clears throat> to become perfect, we have to follow the perfect instruction. In the Bhagavad Gita, there is perfect instruction. And if you take it as it is and follow it, then you become perfect. Uh, to become perfect is not very difficult job. But because we don't want to become perfect, because we want to be cheated, we do not become perfect. Uh, this is the difficulty. <coughs> uh, so we should know. Uh, From the very beginning, that Krishna is transcendent, and all his activities they are all transcendent. Although Krishna appears <coughs> just like ordinary human being, he does not appear like ordinary human being because Krishna, when he was uh, three months old only, he killed the Putana. Rakhus, a three months old child uh, cannot uh, kill such giant demon. It is not possible. Krishna, <coughs> when he was six or seven years old, he leaped the Govardhan hill. Uh, so, what is the difficulty for Krishna? If Krishna can flow 
big, big, gigantic planets in the air, just like fox and swan, floating. Is it very difficult for Krishna to lift the mountain with his hand, with his finger? That is not difficult for Krishna. But those who want to be cheated, when Krishna shows his transcendental strength, they don't believe it. Another thing. They, they, they thought these are, ah, oh, this kind? Mythology. As in Vasudev wrote this Srimad Bhagavatam to put before this rascal some mythology, some imaginary thing. Let's see how they want to be cheated. Huh? Such, such an exalted personality like Vasudev who has given us the Vedic ah, literature, he presented something which is imaginary. What business he has got? Therefore sometimes these cheated people, they deny to accept that Bhagavata is written by the bad way. But those who are actually acharyas, those who can guide us, like Sankara Charja, Ramana Charja, Madhya Charja, big way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they do not say like that. That it is mythology, that it is imaginary, they accept, as it is. So we have to follow this Mahajan. Mahajana Jena Gatasapantha, Dharma Satattam Nikitam Gohara. We have to follow great personalities, ācāda. ācāda vāṁ purusha vīda, one who has got, one has taken shelter of ācāda, one of high spiritual master, he knows ācāda vāṁ purusha vīda, <coughs> because he is receiving the right knowledge from the right source, ācāda, Evang parampra praptam, evang raja sayogiri. Acharya means by disciple succession. As Krishna says, disciple succession, all the acharya will say the same thing. They will not change, they will not interpret. They, they can explain, but the original, Fact is not distorted. That is Acha. Acha will never say that Krishna is material, Krishna, there was no such thing as Krishna, there was no such battle, battle of Kurukshetra, these are imaginary. So, if we don't want to be cheated, then we should check Krishna as he is presenting himself and as it is confirmed by the Acha, then our knowledge is perfect. So here it is said, Setai Hayai Jukti Mahasi Sandhani Stikau Madhava Pandava Staiva Jibbhau Sankha Upadadamati. Krishna and his devotee are drawn, they are on the same platform. Therefore, Madhava and Pandava, they flew, they are transcendental concept. This is not ordinary. The sounding of the transcendental concepts indicated that there was no hope of victory for the other side. This is the sounding. Dibbo, they are also sounding their concepts. Even Bhishma. Uh, but that cannot be compared with the concepts of Madhava and Pandava. Ojo uh, associates they are also equally powerful. Nobody can be associates of Krishna without being very, very uh, much advanced. Uh, 
just like fire can mix with fire. Similarly, water can mix with water. Similarly, unless one is transcendentally advanced, he cannot be associate of Krishna. The Narkandas Thakur sings, Gaurangera Sangi Dane Nitta Siddha Boli Mani Sijaya Vajanda Nandana Paar Gaurangera Sangi Dane Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Krishna and his associates Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nittananda Sri Ardhaita Galadhar Sivasadi Gaur Bhakta Bhakta All the devotees. So Narthanga Thakur says, so all these associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu should be known. Uh, they are also of the same category. Gaurangara Sangi Gane Nitta Siddha Bolimani. This word Nitta Siddha is significant. Nitta Siddha and Nitta Bodha. There are two kinds of living entities. <coughs> Nitya-vadha means ever condition. Ever condition means the, those who are in this material world, they do not know when they came in touch with this material world. Neither they do know when they will be liberated. They are called Nitya-vadha. Ever condition. And similarly, there are Nitya-siddha. Nitya Siddha means they never come in contact with this material world. And even they come here for some business, they do not forget their position. That is Nitya Siddha. Ah. Try to understand. There are two kinds of living entities Nitya Siddha, Nitya Bhadha. Nitya Bhadha are within this material world. Uh, beginning from Brahma down to a small ant insignificant ant, there are all nitya Anyone who is in this material world, nitya And nitya siddhas, they belong to the spiritual world. They never come in contact with this material world. Even they come for some business under the order of the Supreme Lord, they uh, do not touch these uh, material qualities. They remain always transcendental. As Krishna remains always transcendental, even though he is in this material world, similarly Krishna's nitya siddha associates, they are also transcendental. Uh, they never attract this material world. So, uh, try to understand the position <coughs> of Krishna. Uh, Krishna is uh, Narayana Habbak Para. Transcendent. Para Habbak That is Purushottam Yoga in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Krishna has said, anyone who has understood me, Ajam, Abhayam, uh, Ajam, I never take birth in this material world. Neither I am deteriorated by material contact. He knows me perfectly. That is called Purushottam. Purusha Uttam. Uttam. Uttam means not of this material world. Ut, ut means above. And Tama means this darkness. So Uttama means above this darkness. So uttama purusha. Purusha uttama. Uh, purusha, we are also, purusha means enjoy. Uh, prakriti means enjoy. So actually we are not purusha, we are prakriti. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, aparayam itastu vidhini prakriti para. Jiva Bhuta Mahabhava Jayedam Bhajati. Uh, Aparayam. 
these material elements, bhumi rapana lobal, earth, water, fire, air, sky, mind, intelligence, vindami, pakiti, asada, these are separated energies, material energies of Krishna. They are also prakriti. As this material world is prakriti, similarly there is another prakriti. Krishna gives information. Aparayam itasu vidhimi prakriti in para. But that is para prakriti. So we are not purusha. We are prakritis. Although by materially dressed we appear to be purusha, actually we are not purusha. Just like if you dress one woman like a man, that does not mean she has become man. She is woman. Similarly, we we are purusha in the sense that we are trying to imitate the Supreme Purusha, Purushottam. Uh, Krishna is the Supreme Enjoyer. We are trying to become imitation Krishna. Just like so many rascals, they declare that God, I am God. That is this last name, Mahabha. Uh, first of all, we try to become enjoyer like the head of the family, man, or minister, or this and that, so many. Everyone is trying to become head, enjoy. And at last, being baffled in every respect, he wants to become God. This is the last snare of Maya. Nobody can become God. He is Purushottam. And we are prakritis. Artificially, how we can become enjoyer? Prakriti means enjoyer. Enjoyer and the predominator and the predominated. So, Jiva Buddha, we Jivas, we are all prakriti. Purusha is only Krishna. All living entities. Vishnu Tattva is Purusha Tattva. And we are Shakti Tattva. Shakti, energy, marginal energy of Krishna. So energy is prakriti. So prakriti is not purusha. So Mayavad philosophy is wrong. They pose them as so how. So how. I am the same. How you can be saying? In the Shastra it is said that you living entity or prakriti. How you can become saying you purusha? This is mistake. How prakriti, how woman can become man? Artificially one can be done. Here also so-called woman, they are also purusha. They are thinking purusha. Purusha means enjoy. Here woman is also thinking to enjoy and the so-called man is also thinking to enjoy. Everyone. Nobody wants to serve. Everyone wants to be served. Purusha attitude. Everyone wants to be served. Nobody wants to serve. This is the material concession of life. So when we agree to serve, not to be served, that is the world. When we agree to serve only. Not to be served. No. Not to accept service from others, but to serve others. Uh, that is real liberation. No. But if, here the material disease is that everyone is making plans how others will serve me. No. This is karmaya. This is karma. No. <coughs> Maya means that artificially we want to be served. That is not possible. Uh, when we agree to serve, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us the path of liberation, jivera saru phaya nitta krishna da. This is our position. We are eternal servant of Krishna. So when we engage ourselves, 
and the service of Krishna, the whole Bhagavad Gita is spoken on this basis. Uh, Arjun was artificially declining to serve Krishna. Krishna wanted him to fight, and Arjun was putting so many reasons how he could fight and kill the, the other side, who are his kinsmen, who are his nephews, who are his brothers, his grandfather. This argument was being put. So that means he refused to serve Krishna. Uh, that is material condition. Thank you very much.